Hello, hello. Hi, teacher. How are you? Um, I work. <laughs> yes, I imagine you have your mask with you. <laughs> what time do you finish work? Um, at 7, um, 7 a.m. Oh, so you finish tomorrow? Yes. <laughs> oh, so you have graveyard. Uh, Do you know the meaning is... of that word, graveyard? No. Let me write it in the chat. Graveyard, graveyard. Graveyard is the term that people use when you're working the night shift, like from uh, 7 p.m. to 6 a.m. So if you're working the, the night shift, you're working graveyard. Okay. Yeah, so you're working graveyard today. Yes. <laughs> Do you okay, like si no working? <laughs> okay. Do you like working graveyard, Maria? Yes, um, más o menos, so, so. <laughs> Okay, good. All right, Christian, you're back. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm back. <laughs> we I, missed you yesterday. Uh, Yes, I, I had a, a little problem, personal problem. Okay. All right. Yes, I, this moment is, I am ready. Good, very good. That's the attitude. <laughs> okay, so welcome back, everybody. What is today's date? Today is... <laughs> okay, today is Tuesday. Tuesday. Uh huh. What date? Eleven August twenty twenty. Okay. Um, August eleventh, twenty twenty. Very good. Or August eleventh, two thousand twenty. So remember, when you're talking about dates, you can say August eleventh, like I'm writing on the chat, or you could also say 11th of August. Okay. So the two options are good, but if you start the date with the number, it is necessary that you use the preposition of. So August 11th or 11th of August, 2020, 2020. All right, so, uh, do you guys remember what we did yesterday? The topics we covered yesterday? Do you remember? Yes, no, maybe. We talk about procedures. We talk about? Procedures. Procedures, yes. Procedures. Now, how can you explain the word procedure? What is a procedure? Mm -hmm. What is the meaning of procedure? Procedimiento. Okay. So a procedure is the way you do something, the sequence that you follow to do a particular thing. So that is a procedure, yes. Okay, what else did we mention yesterday? Do you remember? Do you remember the other topics? Yes, no, maybe. The steps that a waiter follow. Yeah, the steps that a waiter follows. That is correct, yes. So, um, that's basically what we covered yesterday, procedures to do uh, certain things. Do you follow procedures in your workplace? Do you follow procedures? Do you have a, 
instructions on how to do particular things? Do you? Yes. yes. You I should. Can. You should. Um, that's going to be one of today's uh, activities. You guys will have to explain the procedures you follow in your uh, workplace. So everybody works in different scenarios, different markets, different everything, but everybody needs to follow uh, a procedure. So you will pretend that uh, you, you're going on vacation and somebody is going to take your place. So it is your responsibility to explain to this person what the procedure is. So you have to give instructions on how to do things, but we'll talk about that later on. Okay, um, any questions or comments about yesterday? No? Okay, so if you don't have any comments, let us begin. Um, when you visit a cafeteria, a restaurant, um, what are the most common issues or scenarios that you see that you don't like? What are some of the inconveniences that get you uh, a little bit annoyed or uncomfortable? Or do you go to the perfect place where there is no, no observations? If the place is full, uh, sometimes the, the waiters don't pay attention of that you are waiting for being uh, served. Served. Exactly. So that is one issue that, that can be. Good, good. So what Samuel is saying is totally true. If you go to a particular place and when you arrive, uh, there are too many people, the people that work there, they don't pay attention to you because they're doing other things. So that is one. Okay, um, other situations that you may find when you go to your restaurant, cafeteria? For example, can be when you arrive to the restaurant and the waiter doesn't be polite. Okay, when the waiter is not polite, yes. Um, some, do you know why that happens? What are some of the possibilities why waiters act like that? They are new in the job. Okay, that can be one. They are new in the job. What else? Other reasons why the waiter or waitress is not too happy with you? Huh? Maybe he is very tired. Okay, maybe the person is tired. Yes. You know, and, and usually, um, you know, you find scenarios like that because they're tired or they are new, or maybe the supervisor uh, said something to them. So there are different uh, reasons. Okay. Or maybe, or maybe when he look at me, like a poor person. Okay. So nice they you. underestimate you. Nice to meet you, Jennifer. Yes. Nice to meet you too. All I'm right. sorry. What's your last name again? It's Miller. Who's playing that? Okay, anyways. Right, so uh, maybe they, they look at you like, oh, this person doesn't have any money. So he doesn't deserve a good service, but Okay, other, other possibilities why the waiter or waitress is not happy with you. So you mentioned tired, you mentioned that the person is new. So when the waiter is new or the waitress is new, that is the reason why they receive training and they are explained how they're supposed to receive and act with the clients. So. And we'll be talking about that um, next week, about trainings and procedures and, and different things. Okay, um, anybody else wants to say something? No? Before we start? 
Okay, let me show you the first part that we're going to be doing here. Um, this exercise is related to the different scenarios um, that people find when they visit restaurants. Let me look for the page. Uh -huh. 10, 12, 14, 16, 17. We're going to start with part four. I need a volunteer to read the questions that we have in the, at the, in the first part, please. Yes. Which of the following are the most common issues with service you have experienced in a restaurant? Uh -huh. Do you think establish a procedure could help reduce those issues and oh. why? Okay, good. Thank you. Um, any observations or questions about what uh, he just read? No? Oh. So, so the questions are clear. Which of the following are the most common issues with service you have experienced in a restaurant? And then they ask you, do you think establishing a procedure could help reduce those issues? So in other words, are there any solutions to these situations here? So uh, I'm sending the, this image to the WhatsApp chat. If you want, you can take a, a screenshot and let me assign you. Uh, seven, eight, eight is good. We add a room and here we go. Loading, 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 loading. Loading. working all day but it's okay it's okay <laughs> perfect okay we are talking Hello, about Hello. hi okay we the are most talking about the most common issues do you think it's so much pressure you can have previous yes Mm -hmm. Do you think establishing a procedure could help reduce those issues? Yes, establishing pros procedures, uh, helping uh, the wearers, um, ¿cómo se dice? Brindar, teacher. Bring, help, help. bring, bring, bring a, a, 
efficient service. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Christian? Um, they have a lot of um, soap mm -hmm. uh, and think that or is the wrong order, I think. Mm -hmm. The second says the food takes too long to be served after order ordering it. I think in the if the restaurant uh, has was full of people, maybe they get the food a long time. I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's correct. I think they might, might say us mm -hmm. um, the, the, the food is take a moment or mm -hmm. something like that. That is very, very nice because I made the, the idea, the idea, the idea to... But it's the first listen in the menu. It's not available, but it appears listen in the menu. Uh -huh. Which one are you discussing now? Which which one? Number two? About the most yes, the number two. The food uh, the takes... list you want to order is not available, but it appears listen in the menu. Uh-huh. Okay, what do you think about that problem, about that inconvenient? How can it be solved? So you ask for combo number three, and they say, oh, we don't have that available. Or we don't have combo number five. Or they say, se lo debemos, le vamos a quedar mal. But that's very common in El Salvador, you know? Yeah. So they need to change that. So what would be a solution for that particular problem? What do you think? Maybe create new menus? Maybe yes, I think you can. Uh, you can change uh -huh. the menu and add something that that you have. Exactly, something that really exists. Good. Yeah. Porque. Porque se puede prevenir algunos errores. What can be prevented, Josué? <laughs> uh, for example, uh, uh, when when you what is the word um, confirm? No, it's another word. Uh, what is the synonym to confirm? Uh, define. No, the order more more specific. Uh, when you ask, uh -huh, when you ask, and, and yes, confirm is verdad. It could be. It could be. Okay. Uh, when, if you confirm the order, uh, you may uh, avoid the misunderstandings. Mm -hmm. Misunderstandings. Misunderstanding. Yes. Misunderstanding. Okay. Uh, for example. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. it's true. When you confirm, you avoid misunderstandings. So mm -hmm. I was giving you the example. Okay, I want uh, two chickens and one fish. And the waiter doesn't confirm. When he returns, he brings two fish and one chicken. So the opposite. Yeah. So the, the customer like, man, I don't eat fish. I'm allergic to <laughs> fish or, or whatever, you know. So, yes. right, so they need to confirm. I completely agree with you. Good. Thanks. 
Um, Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you? I'm okay, thank you. What about you? I'm doing okay, thanks. How was your day? It was okay. Uh-huh. You work a uh, normal schedule? Uh, yeah, I guess it's a normal schedule. Okay. 2 a.m. Okay. from 5 p.m. Uh, what time do you start? 8 a.m. Okay, and you finish at 2 p.m.? No, no, from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Oh, you finish at 5? Yeah. Okay, do you drive, Rocio? No, not yet. No. They give you I transportation? I don't have licencia. License. I don't have license. a license. <laughs> but, you, but you know how to drive? Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. But you don't need a license no. to drive a car. A <laughs> you just have to My... prepare uh, money when they stop you and they give you a ticket. <laughs> my my pa my parents uh, don't think the same. Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> it was just a joke, but you need a license to drive. <laughs> That's good. Well, Jimmy, were you on vacation yesterday? Yes, I, I had a problem. Oh, okay. But it's solved. Um... Not really. Okay. Well, hopefully, um, you will be able to solve it soon. Hopefully. It's complicated. It's complicated. Give, give us, give us an example. Give us an example uh, that's, that. Uh, that's natural. When the <laughs> client left, you you start to say, mm. "So alive." <laughs> maldito, maldito. No, don't say it. I don't say that word. <laughs> but I, I, I once I cried a lot after the 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 client left because he. How do you say grito? Screamed. Screaming. Uh, thank you, teacher. He screamed at me, and I was Helen. For favor. Always, always the teacher show up like a ghost. Exactly. <laughs> yes. no, I'm, I'm supposed to knock first. Like, may I come in? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so uh, Helen, you deal with angry customers? Many times. Many times, okay. And why are they angry? Do they have good reasons to be angry? No, they don't have good reasons to be angry. Okay. <laughs> in my in my point of view, my experience, point of view, uh, they don't have a good. They only have. They only want to receive an uh, an amazing service and and something special for them and maybe we can give them give right. to them that right. and there is the problem that we try to give the best to the to the customers but sometimes we can't we can give some things some services so and okay. then when they they are uh, they hear a uh, no no they don't answer, like it they don't like it and then you have to try to change her mind or yes. his mind. That's the problem. But sometimes, uh, maybe the most of them, uh, they left with a good good experience. It depends in 
of the your attitude. That's what I think. Right. 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 That's right. Me. Our yes. attitude to them. Exactly. Maybe with a good smile. Exactly. Maybe with a, a coffee, a tea, or if you see the the person so stressed, you can give so some a a small thing. A small thing. A glass of water, a glass of orange juice, something like that. That's my my experience only. Good, good. Nice. Yeah. When when you have higher positions like supervisor, manager, you have to encounter those different situations like every day. And you need to be able how to respond because everybody's a different world, you know, and but when you respond with soft, nice words, many times that is the the, the right solution. Exactly. Yeah. The right words. Yeah. So Helen, where did you learn English? My little English. I have learned it in Megatech, La Union. Okay. Good. And Very then good. I start I study. I start. I, I have a problem with the verbs. Okay, don't I worry. I started in, uh, in a university. Okay. Two years. Okay. But now, when you say university, you're talking about free courses or the career? The career. It was a, a two years career. I mean, it's technical. A technical. I don't remember. Yeah, technical. Technical. So that's what I, I, I did. All right, good. And you, Wendy, where did you study English? Only, only here and twi two years in the in the career. What career? I I graduated from re public relationships, and the two first years we have to study English. All right, good, good. And Ronald, you mentioned the other day that you had studied uh, before this course too. Uh, I, ha I have been studying English in front of my work in the academy be fluent, but yeah. of coronavirus, the academy closed. Right, right. Because you three are, are pretty fluent. I mean, like, I can tell that you guys have studied before, so that's good. So don't okay, stop thanks. now. We try to speak. Good, good. Yes. And remember, That's practice it. practice makes perfect. So when we're in the process, you know, we make grammar mistakes, pronunciation mistakes, mm -hmm. but that's exactly how we learn. So don't stop. Okay, thank you, teacher. All right. Hello, teacher. hello. Yes, sir. Hello. Uh, how do you say, uh, me engañaron? They cheated me. They cheated me. It's yeah. not just for relationships. No, we can be ah, playing okay. cards, and if you have an extra card, hey, you're cheating. So ah, cheat, okay, okay. cheat or, or in an exam, you're looking at someone else's paper, you're cheating. Ah, okay, okay, thanks. So, so it's very general. Okay, and what okay. is what is the scenario where you want to use it somewhere? Ah, we only have to discuss one. No, no, no. I, I'm asking you, where do you want to use that uh, particular word, cheat? And uh, in the number five, that when they they put a uh, the imagine image. The menu, image in the menu, and it says, oh, it looks pretty big. And when they serve to you, they cheat on you. Small, they cheat on you with a small hamburger or piece of meat. Exactly, exactly. Yes, there is one, uh, I, I won't say the name, but there is one restaurant, one fast food restaurant where they sell hamburgers. When you see the image, it's very nice, it's very attractive, but even the cashier tells you that's a small uh, uh, hamburger because compared with the picture, the reality is it's nothing, it's very small. So yeah. that, is, that is true. Yeah, so that's why I asking when when you say that they cheat. <laughs> right. So you said, "Hey, you cheated." The the picture shows a nice big hamburger, but the reality is is very different. It's, and even you can say, "Oh, it's 
it's a small piece of food, but uh, they they present very delicious, like with bacon, with cheese. So you say, oh, it's, it, 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 maybe it's pretty delicious, but when you taste it, it's not. Yeah, it's true. And, and you know, when, when that situation happens, usually the person never comes back. Okay, they took yeah. my money one time, but I'm going to make sure that it's the first and the last. Yes. Yeah. It's the most common. Right, right. Mm. All right. Samuel, where did you study English? In Centro Cultural. Oh, okay. Good, good. White teacher. <laughs> You're very fluent. Ah, uh, thanks. <laughs> that it's just because I have a girlfriend, so I practice with her. Good, they know, good. They know English. Good, very good. What about you, <laughs> Sofia? Where did you learn English? In Academia Europea. Okay. How much time did you study there? Mm, maybe one year. One year. Okay. Yes. And you, Marce, where did you study? Academia Europea too, but oh. like uh, 15 years ago. Oh, okay. A long time ago. Yeah, but 15 years ago, you were like really, 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 really young. So you absorbed everything faster and easier. Yes, I was in high school. Yeah, good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you study a foreign language and if you start when you are very young, the process is faster. Yes, yeah. but if you don't practice, I, yeah. I forget a lot of things. Right, mm -hmm. right. And that's why, you know, when I put you to work in groups, like you said, okay, we finish exercise number four. You have to continue speaking about other things and, and, and use the language. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. I'll talk to you later. Cafeteria, cafeteria. Teacher, cafeteria is equal cafeteria. Yeah, cafeteria. Cafeteria. Cafeteria, uh -huh. yes. Es que, es que Luis, Luis don't believe uh -huh. que en un restaurante no exista un procedimiento. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Well, um, it, it depends what your priorities are. If How do you say dueño in English? Owner. Owner. If the owner of the restaurant cares only about money, procedures are irrelevant. Yeah, exactly. But sooner than later, they pay the consequence because people might visit you one time, but they will never return they never come back and that's why restaurants cafeterias they need to have a procedure so the customer is happy and they return exactly yep all right yeah. i don't i don't For a, familiarity with this this topic with the words yeah but it's good because you 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 know new words. Your vocabulary is increased in, in every in every topic in every in every class. And if you try to to talk practice, if you if you try to practice your the, the language, you desenvolver. You develop. You develop the your fluency and your influence fluency. good very good i think we have a uh, new words in english but in other times it's just the, the same words and uh, traduce to english translate, <laughs> translate. yes yeah. thank you thank you okay. teacher yes translate yeah, so the idea is that you learn new vocabulary and as consequence, you increase um, your fluency, your accuracy, your pronunciation, everything. Yep. Okay, so okay. I think it's time to go back to the main session. Uh, no, no. No. It's okay. already right now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's raining hard. Hello, teacher. 
How are you? Uh, very good. Josue, do you start your classes at the same time every day? Or do you start at different times? Mm, I start, usually I start at 8 p.m. Ah, or, or my, yeah. my yeah. own class. No, uh, my your English class. Is a, no, your classes as a teacher. Ah, uh, usually I start at 8.30, but some days I start uh, later. Okay. Uh, for example, 9 or 10. Uh, it's, um, I have a schedule. Okay. Mm -hmm. And do you use a particular platform to interact with your students? Yes, uh, I use Teams. Oh, okay. Uh, and all the, the tools. All right. Around. All right. Good, good. All right, so I think it's time to go back to the main session. Okay. Hello, hello, welcome back. All right. So, in your opinion, what is the most common issue in a restaurant or cafeteria? What is the most common issue? The food takes too long to be served after they're ordering it. Exactly. So if you're not a patient person, I recommend that you call or you order one hour and a half before you get hungry. So. Because when you eat, you're supposed to be happy and relaxed, not angry. Yes. Okay. Someone else has a different opinion? The most common issue? In my case, uh, I have experienced, well, I have experienced all those issues in a restaurant. Okay. So I honestly believe that the common issue is when the food takes too long to serve. So right. I was wondering about it, and sometimes uh, I have felt that my mood changed. Yep. And True. usually I cried out. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I mean, because like you go to a restaurant, you're hungry, obviously, and if they take too long, you know, people get angry, upset, man, where's my food? I'm hungry. And when the food arrives, you don't enjoy it because you're angry. Yep. And you have spoken to the supervisor, the manager, and, and, and different things. So, okay. Someone else has a, a, an opinion about how to, which one is the most common issue? So for the situation number one, the waiter gets you food you did not ask. What is the solution for that particular scenario? That they change the dish. The waiter change the dish for what you order. Okay. So how can you prevent that situation? Right. Because, oh, I'm sorry, you asked for hot dog, not hamburger. So you change it. But how can you prevent that situation? The way the waitress uh, uh, before they leave, uh, it's necessary the re repeat the order. Exactly. Confirm. Confirm. Exactly. Very good. So yes, if, if I bring you the wrong dish, oh my goodness, I'm sorry, I change it. But changing it means you have to wait more time. Maybe you change your mind. It says, you know what? I don't want it anymore. So for prevention, before they leave, before they go to the kitchen, they verify and confirm the, uh, mm -hmm. the order. Very good. Now, the food takes too long to be served. What is the suggestion? Imagine that you're planning to open a restaurant and you don't want your customers to wait too long. What is the solution? 
in our group was discussing that this that the for example the people that will cook or the chef uh, can have the food already prepared like for example the vegetables uh, clean and washes um the meat um uh, descongelada i don't know how do you say descongelada thaw that is a word we will see on the next page or you can okay. say the food is not frozen Ah, okay, the food not frozen. Um, that's that's one okay. of the solutions. Yeah, one of the solutions. Yeah, because if you're the restaurant, you know the type of food that your clients want, so you have to prepare yourself so they don't wait too long. Okay, very good. The waiter is not polite. What is the solution for that situation? How can he or she change? In my group, we uh -huh. discussed this part, and I think it's important that the manager of the restaurant, or the end of the day, or the week, maybe they coaching the the waiters. Good. So they give them feedback. Yes. Uh, maybe every day is the best option because you don't want to wait. Uh, until the end of the week because the, the, the same scenario might repeat. So when the, when the shift finishes, you say, uh, Francisco, I want to speak with you. You know, there was a problem with a client today and I think that, so yes, the supervisor, the manager has to be checking what's going on. Good. Any other solution to change the waiter's attitude? Uh, they give you three warnings. Okay. Yes. So the, the first time they they only make a verbal uh, warning. Yes. Uh, you have to change. The second time, maybe they can be punished with one day of with no salary. And the third um, warning could be that in some places they make you film the the renuncia uh your um Fire? your quit oh. okay they may they, they make, make you, you quit they make you sign the your quit so if you make a one mistake or 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 have a problem they fire you right right okay okay very good um, Teacher, yes. Uh, uh, training, tra training all staff is very option. In yes. many, in many case, people do not have that experience. Exactly. That's yeah. that's a that's a very important point that Fernando is mentioning. Sometimes the person is new in the business. Oh, this is my first time as a waiter. This is my first time as a chef. So training, that's why training is very effective, you know? So they have to train uh, the new personnel, definitely. Good, yes. Now, if after the training, the problem persists, then you need to take uh, other <coughs> actions. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay, what about the next scenario, the dish that you want to order is not available, but the menu has it. How can you change that situation? Far as, as far as, as I can tell you, uh, the restaurant could have put a note in a menu and All the right. restaurant can be, in the restaurant explain uh, that the dish is not uh, available. Uh, available. Okay, good. Another opinion, change the menu. Make Bring, new menus. Make new menus. Okay. Yeah, and making new menus, it, it costs money, but it's not that much. They're not expensive. Uh, one or of can my... Ride, Marcella? Or can write four seasons. Okay. Because not always you will have the ingredients. Like Good. Morocco. Mm -hmm. Right, right, exactly. Yes, uh, so it depends on the seasons, that is right. 
So maybe when you include the dish in the menu, maybe in parentheses, you can make an observation, if available, if, we, if it's the right season, right. Good. Someone else wants to give an opinion about when the menu offers something that they don't have? No. Okay, in the, the last waiter is supposed to ah. say it at the first thing where you sit and you offer the menu, you give the menu, you have to say, sorry, but we don't have this dish, we don't have this, we don't have exactly another thing. Right. That's the right thing to, to do. Because with that you 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 the salva something. You save yourself. You save yourself. That's yes. right. That's right. Exactly. And that's another option because the waiter or waitress, they need to know the menu. They need exactly. to know what the restaurant has available and what they don't have. So they said, I'm sorry, but we don't have combo number three. I'm sorry, but we don't have fish right now. So you tell them ahead of time. Good, exactly. very good. Okay. Okay. And the last one, the dish in the menu differs from the actual dish the waiter brings to the table. So the picture on the menu looks attractive, appealing, but when they bring you the food, it's completely different. How can you solve that situation? Sometimes you have to change the, the dish. Okay. Or so change the, the customer don't want well. it. Helen? Sorry, if, you, if, if the customer don't want the dish, you only have to change it and it's a loss to the restaurant. Right, right, yes. Someone else was saying something? Or change the image in the menu. Right, change the image and bring a, a real image. A real image. Yes. It's like when you have a uh, <laughs> when you have a picture in your Facebook account, you know, and you use Photoshop <laughs> and everything, but when they see you in person, you know, they said, oh, but you look a little bit different than your so many uh, pictures. pictures. <laughs> right. So, yeah, I mean, you have just, to be real. <laughs> exactly. Keep it real. Keep it real. For a person. What is it, Rocio? For illustrative pr 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 Yeah, illustrative pur purposes, yes. <laughs> purposes. <laughs> okay, good. All right, uh, any questions in exercise four, people? What time is it now? It's 8.47. 8 okay, so 10 more minutes and then I'll take uh, the first attendance. All right, so if there are no questions, we go to page, we go to the next page. Let me see where we are right here. We share and we go here. So here we have the word that uh, Samuel asked for in food. So let me see this here. 18. So the same picture that I'm sending you to the WhatsApp chat, it's the same one that I have in my computer right now. So it's your decision if you use your book, you use the one that we have here. So how many items do we have in the exercise? Six. Six, right. So we have six uh, letters and you have six different options. So you have to match them and uh, to see how good you guys are doing with your vocabulary. So let me move this person to room five. Hold on, hold on. It's the other way around. Move to room five. Move to room five. 
move to, give me a second, nine. Room nine, move to room nine, move to room nine, and I will exchange with her, I will exchange with her, uh, exchange with her, I will exchange with her, and I will exchange with him. All right. So there you have the exercise. Please work in pairs and do the matching. Here we go. Christian, Luis, and Rocio. Mm -hmm. Luis. Hi teacher, my, my internet is not. <laughs> okay, let me see it. I will. Okay, Luis. Oh, okay. So you're supposed to be working with Sophia. Hold on. I will send her to room two. And I will send you to room four. Hopefully that will work. Raise your hand and pour um, water with soap. Use a brush to clean under your fingernails dry. Yes, it's kind of wet. Okay. Okay. Sanity sanitizing. How do you say sanitizing? Sanitizing. 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 Yes. Sanitizing. Sanitizing. Yes. In in Spanish. Sanitizar. Yes. And I I, I hear uh, there's a a go. Sanitizar yep. is not ex excuse. Yes. Uh, Yes, some people, uh, when they translate that word, they use a, a word in Spanish that is not valid. So we have to be careful with the Spanish too. Ah, okay. Yes. A ver, number two, take a sample of the food you want to taste, taste on a spoon. Put the sample on a second spoon away from the cooking area and taste the product. F? Yeah. Okay, F. 
letter A. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hello. How many people in your work right now, Maria? Um, the security, the chef, and I. <laughs> okay, so you work for uh, Comfort Inn? Yes. San Miguel? Yes. Okay. I visited Comfort in La Union like uh, like three years ago. It's a nice place. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yes, it's very nice. Yes. Jimmy, have you visited the hotel before? No. No, never. It's a it's a it's a nice place. You you're in San Salvador, Jimmy? Yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because Comfort in La Union, it's, it's, a, it's a nice place. Yes, I can see the, 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 the playas, how do you say playas? The beach, the beach. The beach, yeah. the, the, the tamarindo. Yep, yep. And, and, nice the, and, and the prices are very accessible. Yes, yes. Yep, so that's... Do you have plans when we finish the emergency, Jimmy? Do you have plans to visit uh, particular places? Um, for the moment, no. Okay, not for the moment. Uh, finish the quarantena. Yeah, the quarantine. Okay, good. Because I'm trying to practice, I have... Good. For Attitude. many years, exactly. maybe, maybe I can, I can look like a yo-yo, <laughs> but it's just because no, I want to practice. No, I don't. No, I don't think that is the reason. I think you, you want, you really want to improve. Uh, hello, teacher. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Very good. How are you? Nice. Very good. We, we are. You guys finished, ladies? Yes. Yes, we, teacher. All right, let's, right go, now. Back. let's yes. go back. Teacher, along. All right. Okay. So, the first answer, it says, wash your hands and forearms with soap. Use a brush to clean under your fingernails. Dry. What is the answer for that one? Hand washing. Hand washing. Hand washing. Very good. What about the, the other one? Take a sample of the food you want to taste on a spoon. Put the sample on a second spoon away from the cooking area and taste the product. Tasting metal. Tasting metal. Uh -huh. Yes. When, when you guys are cooking and you're preparing soup, you take uh, samples in your hand and you taste it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, number three, buy packaged food only from licensed suppliers. Purchase. 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 Yes, purchase, purchase is, a, is a synonym of the word buy. So it says, I need to purchase a new computer. I need to purchase uh, a new sofa. So purchase is a synonym of the word buy. Um, what about the next one? To let frozen food become warmer until it is ready to cook. Throwing food. Throwing food. Okay. Throwing food. Very good. Throwing food. Okay. Throwing food. Yes. Throwing food. Next one says employees who receive and storage food organize items in the correct place to avoid bacteria. Food storage. Food storage. Food storage. Food storage. Okay, storage. Storage. And the last one says equipment is washed, rinsed, and disinfected after each dish is prepared. Sanitizing. 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 Yes. Sanitizing. How, how do you say alcohol gel in English? You say sanitizer. 
Sanitizer. Sanitizer. Sanitizer. It's right there. Do you have a sanitizer in your house? Yes. yes. Do you have a sanitizer in your job? Yes. Many. Yes. 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 <laughs> exactly. Yes. So the sanitizer is part of your tools right now. Whether you are in an office, in a bakery, in a department store, in a police station, everybody without any exceptions, they need to use sanitizer. Okay. I live with time too. It's a daily routine, exactly. <laughs> and and maybe, you know, it's a it's a it's a daily routine that you have to do constantly. Constantly, constantly. Okay. Um, any questions in part five? No. No. Okay, so let me take your attendance. Uh, Sophia Stephanie. Present. Okay. Uh, Fernando Arturo. Here, teacher. Okay. Uh, Coralia Rivera. Coralia. Where are you, Coralia? Present. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ronald Humberto. Present. Good. Uh, <coughs> Marcela Orellana. Here. Okay, right there. Um, Jimmy Rodriguez. Okay, he's here. Let me put him present. Um, Christian Alexander. Present. Good. Very good. Uh, Josue Edgardo. I'm here. Good. Uh, Jimena Alexandra. Present. Very good. Samuel Rosales. Samuel, Samuel. Present, present. Good. Rocio. Present. Very good. Uh, Mercy Carolina. Present. Very good. Uh, Ana Araceli. Present, teacher. Okay, very good. Uh, Maria del Carmen. Maria. Maria. Present. <laughs> Where? I think she is in the... In the... Oh, right there, right That's there. That's true. Yes, I yeah. see her. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right, good. <laughs> uh, Helen Mercedes. Here. Okay. We have Luis. Luis. Present teacher. What are you? Right there. Okay. Uh, Stephanie Montano. Here, teacher. Very good. Uh, Christian Omar. Present. Present. Where? Oh, okay. Right Here. there. Good, good. So, Wendy Guadalupe. Present. Nice. And last but not least, Magdalena Emperatriz. Present, teacher. Okay, very good. So, we have a full house. That's good. All right. So, Let's continue with the class. So let me, how, how do you guys practice your pronunciation? What do you do to improve your pronunciation? Sing a song. Sing a song, good, very good. Other options? I share speed. What is it? Go ahead. Uh, I search the pronunciation on English. Good. Good. Okay. Other options. How to improve your pronunciation? I to say tongue twister. Aha. <laughs> tongue twisters. Exactly. Now, what is the function of a tongue twister? Uh, uh, 
de, de desarrollar la le el habla de la lengua. Yeah, exactly. Develop your pronunciation. Yes. Let me write it in the chat. Is tongue twister. So tongue twister. What is the meaning of twist? Retorcer. Uh huh. So in Spanish we say trabalengua. In English is un retuerce lengua. So mm. let me show you the this right here. Mm -hmm. Where is it? She's okay. Smart. Okay, do you see the document? Yes. yes. Okay. So she sells seashells by the seashore. What sound are we practicing there? Um, she sells seashells by the seashore. Oops. Analyze it. What is the sound that we're practicing there? <laughs> uh huh. Yes. S is one, and what is the other one? Uh, she uh, shells shore. She sells seashells by the seashore. What is the sound that we're practicing there? So we're practicing letter S, sound S, and also sound SH. So uh, can I have a volunteer to say number one? She sold seashells by the seashores. Okay, very good. Someone else? Wendy? She sells seashells by the seashore. Very Sorry. good. Someone she else? She sells seashells by the seashores. Okay, good. Another volunteer? She sells seashells by the seashore. Very good. Luis, can you say it? Luis, are you there? Okay. So, no, I told Twister. What is it? Nothing. Okay. So that is the first one. What about the second one? Rumber baby bobby bumper. Okay. What is the sound that you practice there? The R and the B. Okay. B, B as in baby blue. Big, so rubber baby buggy, buggy bumpers. Rubber baby, baby buggy, buggy bumpers. bumpers. No. Rubber baby buggy, baby, buggy bumpers. Baby, buggy bumpers. Uh -huh. So what is one characteristic that you need to keep present when you're saying tongue twisters? You have to be? Quickly. Exactly, you have to say it quickly. You have to say it fast. So you say, she sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. Uh huh. Number two is rubber baby buggy bumpers. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. Uh huh. And the last one is a little bit longer. Can you see it? Yes. yes. Okay. <clears throat> How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? What sound are we practicing there? Much wood. C H and C H and W. So you say, how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? So let me take a picture of this and send it to you. Let me see it. Let me see it. A woodchuck could chuck wood. Okay. All right, let me see this here. Da -da -da -da. Dun -dun. So right there. So only like four people volunteer to tell them in public. So I will assign you to work in pairs so you guys practice this right here. Let me assign. Uh, add a room, room 10, 
move to room 10. Move to room 10. And move to room 10. Huh. Add a room. Move to room 11. Move to room 11. All right, so practice the tongue twisters. Go ahead. Our or or our or. <laughs> Listen, listen to me. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. She serves seizures by the seizures. Rubber baby woogie bumpers. How much wool would wool a wool chook chook if a wool chook could chook wool? Good. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Excellent. Yes. Yeah, yes. Okay. It's your turn, um, Coralia. My turn. Okay. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Let's see. Uh, she says, she, she sells by the teacher. <laughs> if it could. Rubber baby booby bumper. How much wood wool a wood took to if a wood took to wood? <laughs> good. Very good. Pretty you easy. Got I got it. She sells seashell. No, 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 no. She sells seashell by the seashells. Rubber baby bobby bumpers. Bobby bumpers. Um, how, how much wood would I wish shock? Shock if I wish I could. Blah, blah, blah. Could show? No. <laughs> oh, that is right. you're, you're doing it okay. Good. Number <laughs> three. Yeah, <laughs> but we have to try. <laughs> the number three is so complicated. Okay, let's do it one more time. How much would wool a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck chuck cool chuck wood? Good, good, very good. <laughs> Entonces ahí dice como que que come mucha madera, quizá. Yeah, that's that's the translation. Uh -huh. what, what what's the meaning of the word woodchuck? What's the meaning? Uh huh. 
So remember the 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 message in the tongue twister. Sometimes it's it's crazy, but it's just for okay. you to practice the particular sounds. Yes. Yeah. Uh huh. So let me visit another one. <laughs> <laughs> Did you finish with the tongue twisters? Yes. Mm, yeah, teacher. Number three is, is very compli complicated. 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 Yeah. How much wood would a woodchuck chop? Yeah. It's if you compare number three with two and one, you know, it's 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 more complicated. But there okay. are others <laughs> that are more difficult than than that one. <laughs> yeah. So the idea of practicing with tongue twisters is so you practice your your pronunciation. Yeah, okay. good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Poco, pero, uh, no, pero 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 está mejor. La verdad está mejor. Uh, okay. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. Ruby baby booby bumper. Mm -hmm. Good. Seashells by the seashore. Teacher, it's difficult to me the number one. <laughs> really? She sells seashells by the seashore. Uh huh, because I... I hear the ch ch ch. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. She sells seashells by the seashore. Exactly. She sells seashells. And you know, the first times that you practice, you go slow. Mm -hmm. But the next time you say it, you say it faster and faster and faster until one day you learn it and you master it. Huh. Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> so you can teach your children, nephews, nieces, and I'm going to show you a, 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 a tongue twister. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Are, are you practicing the tongue twisters? Yes. Which one is the easiest? Second. The second one, yeah. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. And which one is the most complicated? Number three. Number three, yeah. It's longer and it has a combination of different sounds. So how much wood would I would chuck chuck if I would chuck wood chuck wood? So it, it takes practice. Yes. Takes practice. Okay, so let's go back to the main session. Okay. All right. Are there any questions about the tongue twisters? No. Do you know any other tongue twisters in English besides the three that I presented today? No. El, el de las brujas suizas, pero no me acuerdo cómo va. <laughs> oh, okay. So yeah, I mean like you have different um, tongue twisters that they really help your, your pronunciation. So that is good. All right. So um, any questions or comments? No? Okay. So let me Let's see this here. This one. Part six. Um, may I have a volunteer to read part six, please? Read the instructions. In verse, choose two of the procedures you followed every day at your workplace. Create a mini poster to present both procedures to the class. Okay, very good. Thank you. So, like I was telling you at the beginning of the session, imagine that you're going on vacation and someone from a different department will take your place. This person will cover you. So you have to explain this person step by step what they need to do. Do I make myself clear? 
So once again, imagine that you're going on vacation, mm -hmm. but your position needs to be taken care of by another person. So this person will come uh, and substitute your place. Uh, so okay. you have to explain this person what you need to do. Uh -huh. Tiene que explicar a la persona exactamente cuál es el procedimiento que usted sigue en su trabajo. Is it clear? Yes, step by yeah. step. Yes, step by step, exactly. So imagine if I work with Christian Omar, I will say, okay. Christian, the first thing that you need to do, you need to log in to Zoom. To call center. Uh huh. Yeah, I mean, like it, it doesn't matter because everybody works in different uh, places. So the idea is that you are able to explain what your functions are exactly. Any questions before you start doing the speaking? We have to create a mini poster to present it. No, only speaking. Only speaking okay. because uh, when they say mini poster is when the class is physical, but you yes. could also do it in 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 a, in a word document if you wish. So if you want to to do it, so let me. I will exchange this person with her. I will exchange this person with her. I will exchange this person with him. Let me see who else. I will exchange her with him. I will exchange her with him. And I will exchange her with her. So right here so start speaking Room eight, room five. Hello, Magdalena. Are you tired? Está cansada. A limpiar todo. Clean. Everything. Clean. Mm, sanitizar en este caso por... Ay, está temblando. Está temblando, sí. <laughs> yep, I feel it. Yeah. You sanitize Clean. everything. <laughs> <laughs> Sanitize everything, yeah. Exactly. Um, and also, I I started started. I developed the topic, teacher. Que susto. Yes, I felt it. <laughs> I was talking with Rocio and what's her name and Helen, and. Um, they said, oh, it's, it's a temblando. And I said, oh, okay, yes, it is. <laughs> How do you say it's a temblando in English? Uh, people usually say earthquake. earthquake. But, that, but that is not the correct word because earthquake means terremoto. Mm -hmm. But it's um, tremor. 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 <laughs> let, let me write it in the chat. Okay. Uh, tremor. Tremor, yeah. So tremor is when the land is moving. 
Mm -hmm. yeah. Have you ever experienced uh, an earthquake? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. The one in the year mm -hmm. 2000, I think. Mm -hmm. 2001, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, 2001. Mm -hmm. You were very little, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah. How old yeah. were in you? Five, in fifth grade. Fifth grade. Fifth grade. Oh, mm -hmm. what about you, Sofia? Yes, uh, but I don't remember because I play with my cousin, is prima. Yeah, cousin? With my cousin, uh, he, he, I, he, he, had I mean, he had me in your shoulders. In her shoulders, I, so you didn't feel anything? Oh. Anything. Yes. And do you remember him, Anna? Do you remember yes, that I, day? I stayed at my home with my brothers and sister. And I don't know how to say empleada, domestic. The worker, the maid. The maid. And and then and then start the, the earthquake. Okay. The, the first, the second, I was at school. Okay. Yeah, a bad experience. It's a bad experience. <laughs> Yeah. And people get scared. Yes. Okay. Ajá, las, las hi, de hi, teacher. Hello. Hi, teacher. Did you feel the land moving? Yes. Yeah, I feel. Yeah. People get scared. La gente se asusta. And it's normal. Me too, teacher. Me too. Yeah. You start looking like, okay, so make sure that nothing falls on you. Yeah. So, it happens. It happens. Okay, I okay, got perfect. levels to check out. To check out the kill. How to kill. To the levels, you mean to the, to the class? The grand, or? yes. Um, oh, okay. Yes, but we don't have an education standard. Because we have um we sell um the the customer or the clients. Customers and oh. clients are synonyms. Oh okay. Yeah. But for a bank service is more like clients yeah. or uh, yeah people usually say clients but customer is also accepted. Okay. Yeah, so the two words are good. Vaya, entonces, no sé, digan ustedes, ¿cómo lo hacemos? ¿O solo lo trasladamos a inglés? Okay. Eh, o, o uno más fácil. Yeah, something <laughs> simple, something simple. Yeah. Because it's a beautiful hotel in, in, San, in San Miguel. <laughs> yeah. It's for, uh, it's for business. And, and what is the location in San Miguel, Maria? Is it in San Miguel, the city? Yes. Um, what part? For Metro Centro. Near Metro Centro. Exactly in front of Metro Centro. Really? Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. You I know the you know the the, the Roosevelt? The yes, street? Roosevelt Avenue, yes. Uh -huh. So you 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 throughout throughout this. You uh, what drive, do you mean? You drive uh, if you drive on the the main street Roosevelt, uh -huh. uh, you arrive a uh, Metro Centro, so in front of Metro Centro, it 
it is uh, the hotel Comfort Inn. Okay, so it's in the middle of the city, we can say. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Does it have a swimming pool, Maria? Yes. Yeah, yes. it's San Miguel, that it's a very hot city. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So are you receiving clients in this moment? Maria? Uh, yes, I received them. Okay. Uh, is, um, uh, a, little <laughs> a few, a few. Yeah, a few. A few clients. Yeah, yeah, it's it's you know the reaction of this pandemic is is general. Hotels, yeah. restaurants, stores, transportation, everything is affected. Yeah, yeah. Everything is affected. How many years have you been in the hotel, Maria? Uh, <laughs> How many years have you worked in the hotel? Oh, um, three years and seven months. Okay, so almost four years. <laughs> okay, and do you live near the hotel? Or is it a long distance? Uh, yes, I live in a long distance. Um, one, one hour? One hour. Yeah. So where do you live? I live in uh, uh, at the end of San Miguel. At the end of San Miguel. Okay. All right. Good. Viendo a los ejecutivos de la AFP, pero como como traduzco, atende the executive AFP. I receive AFP executives. I receive AFP executives. Exactly. Or you can okay. say AFP. Okay. Yep. I receive executive the bank. Okay. Where do you work, Araceli? I am a fiscal accountant. Oh, okay. Good, good, good. And where is the office? In San Salvador? In Soyapango. Oh, what part of Soyapango? Um... Um, between in Alcaldia, City Home, uh, City Home, City, yes. Okay, so it's in the center of Soyapango. Central Soyapango, okay. All right, good, good. No, no, no más el susto. <laughs> todavía estamos asustadas. <laughs> sí, yo uh, salí uh, I was uh, talking with Wendy and, and Helen, and uh -huh. they said, Está hablando. So, mm -hmm. you know, that's the, the, the first uh, usual reaction of a person when they feel the land is moving. Yes, yo ya iba a salir corriendo, teacher. Así que estaba a hacer costal, me levanté rápido. Ya ves que te dije, a mí me fue en Usulután. En Usulután. Sí. And what is the, the, the magnitude? 5.2. 5.2. So you can feel Fuerte. it. It's, it's, it's uh, sensible. Yes. yes. Stronger. Se dice stronger. No. Yeah, strong. A strong. Strong. Okay. Yeah, a strong sensation. A yep. strong sensation. And, and what was the reaction of your family? Did no, they mi, mi, mi esposo sigue durmiendo. <laughs> 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 Mañana cuando vea los memes va a decir, ¿qué tembló? <laughs> yeah. My husband didn't feel. Él morirá en paz, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Do you oh. have children, Stephanie? <laughs> no, teacher. No oh. yet. Okay. No. And what about you, Marcela? What was the reaction in your house? Nothing? Nothing, just me. Just I feel it. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a bad experience when we feel uh, tremors, you know. People yeah, react yeah. In, the, in different forms. I always run. <laughs> right, you know, it's, it's normal when people react mm -hmm. uh, 
in different forms, but you usually run because you want protection. Yes. All right, mm. good. Uh, it that contains, uh, how do you say papel higiénico? Toilet paper. Toilet paper. Toilet paper. Toilet paper, okay. Uh -huh. And a lot of things that I, that we can eat. So the canasta básica is a basic basket. Yeah. Yeah, basic yeah. basket. Basic basket. Basic basket. Uh -huh. So the basic basket is, is a lot of help for us. Yep. Yeah, beans, rice. Sugar, yes, sugar, oil, rice. vegetables. Did you receive the help from the government? No, I received that in my job. Oh. With the company. Okay. Yeah, they give us one in a month. Oh. Every, every month. Free? Yeah, free. Good, good. It's a benefit that we have. Good, good. You know, in, in many companies, they don't even consider that. They said, no. <laughs> a basic basket. What are you talking about? You know, like. Yes. So that's a, that's a blessing from your company when they think yes. about the workers. Yes. Yeah? And you didn't receive the one from the government? Uh, yes, I received one. Okay. In, I think two months ago. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I received one like one month ago, I think, kind of, because Lourdes was, um, I think the delivery of this help was late. I mean, if food is never late, you know, but they took longer than, than other places. Yes. And uh, one day my wife called me and says, guess what? We received the help from the government. I said, really? You know, so mm -hmm. it helps. Yeah. It, it helps. helps a lot. Right. Okay. Yes. But my my career is in general, preschool. At colegio they they I don't know how to say me colocaron in they computer. placed me they placed me at computer teacher. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so your office is a computer lab. Yes. <laughs> so you always have air conditioner? Not always. Because the subject is, we, I impart the subject, for example, once a week. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And the other days, do you teach other subjects? I, I don't know, apoyar a las maestras I support, principales. I support uh, the main teachers. The main teacher. Mm -hmm. And that is in what section, what grades? Kindergarten. Okay. With kids with four years. Mm -hmm. Okay. Little ones. Yes. <laughs> All right. Good. Good. That's nice. 
um, in this day you teach in Zoom or, or, or? No, we have a platform, Microsoft Teams, and mm -hmm. we teach about, uh, we teach uh, from okay. this platform. Yeah. The, the kid use easy or, or with? In my case, I, I don't know how to say, grabar la clase. I record the class. The class and I send uh, the, the link. link. Mm -hmm. Okay, and Bye. then they ask you questions. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh. good. Yeah, I it's use more easy for the parents. Yeah, it's easier for the parents. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that Teams is is very easy to use. It it's not yes. complicated. Mm -hmm. No. It's not complicated. No, it is. It's easy because uh, all the kids they have a. Uh, uh, us user. A user. User. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And the and from the parents, I think it's more easy to. Uh, it's easier. It's easier to to enter at the right. Mm -hmm. And and how much time is each class? How much time do you record? Sometimes in five minutes. Okay. But if, when we stay at the school, the class during 30 minutes. Okay, so the class lasts 30 minutes. The class lasts 30 Last. minutes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Last means, as an adjective, it means ultimo. Mm -hmm. Pero como un verbo significa durar. So the mm -hmm. class lasts 30, 30 minutes. minutes. Mm -hmm. At the school. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when you go there in person. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when was the last time you physically were at the school? In March at 11. Yeah. So mm -hmm. you haven't seen your, your, um, the other teachers and your students in four or five months. Four or five months. Mm -hmm. Only virtual. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's, uh, you know, this pandemic has changed everything, everything, everything literally mm -hmm. everything. The way we work, the way we clean ourselves, uh, everything, everything. And, uh, and that's why every morning when we wake up, we have to be thankful with God, you know. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. many people, they go to the hospital and they never return to their homes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so I think it's almost time to go back to the main session. Let me. Payment, payment remittance. Mm, okay. Hi, teacher. Hello. Do you do you make process of money transactions, Luis? Yes, teachers. Uh, uh, Rem payment of family remittance. Okay, good. So you, you work in a bank or in a lawyer's, or, no, you're an accountant. I, I accountant and, and see the this operation operations with remittance families. Okay, oh, good. Family remittance. <laughs> okay, and the remittance, they come from different parts of the world or one country yes. in particular? All, all, all parts of the world, teacher. Good, good. But you say it's the um, most the, important customer. In... Do you work for MoneyGram? No, 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 I don't work for money, but it's, it's our customer. Oh, okay, okay. BNB, uh, MoneyGram. Western uh, Union? Western, no. <laughs> Not Western Union. No, it's, it's how do you say competence? <laughs> it's the competition. It's, it's our competition. Yeah, yeah. And in and, and some places they were doing the transactions for for free with no cost. Do you remember that? 
And when when the pandemic at the and beginning in, in of the, the pandemic, pandemic, yes, yes, uh, another remittance money uh, money remittance uh, had this option with a customer in in in, in USA. Right, right. Yes, because I remember watching television and they said, uh, tell your family that they can send you money for free. The for service free, yes. is free. So the economy, Ministry of Economy is uh, organizing this, this um, service. This service of the uh, the people that, that receive the remittance. Okay, the, so Ministerio de Economía paid for the service. I think, teacher, uh, hasta, uh, no sé si... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Fue el acuerdo. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because, you know, help is help. You know, at these times, you know, like, if the people in the United States, they save $10, $8, you know, $10 is $10. So yes, 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 ten dollars is it's ten dollars. Yeah, yeah, it's ten dollars. Yeah, you go to the supermarket and you come back with a nice gallina, you know, and you prepare <laughs> in your house. Uh, Christian, to work in the in, in bank. Okay. Make a bank. Yes. Um, okay, and what is your position, Christian? Um, customer service, custom no calls, customer service. Okay. Creo que sí se hizo. Yeah, customer service. Okay. Yes. And, and yes. what branch are you in? What branch? San Salvador, Soyapango, Sonsonate. What branch? ¿Cuál sucursal? Um, uh, I know sucursal. Bueno, no estamos en alguna sucursal, sino que eh, en un centro de negocios, pero no, no es agencia, bien aparte. Oh, okay. Sí. All right. But your area is only customer service. Um, yes, only the, customer service. El Salvador, ajá, todo. Okay, good, good. That's good. So, and what is the name of the bank? You say the name of the bank? Promerica, Promerica Bank. Promerica. And you, Luis? Promerica too? I work at in Banco City Bank. Banco oh. Cusca now, and the name of the organization is Remesis Pago Cusca. Similar, similar. Okay, yeah, yeah, <laughs> good, good. And, and where is your branch, Luis? Where are you located? Uh, the branch is the Casa Matriz. Sería headquarters. The, headquarters. Headquarters. Headquarters is in uh, near uh, Pyramide Cuscatlan. Okay. By Sisa. Yeah, Santa Tecla. Santa Tecla. Uh, okay. Carretera de kilometro y medio. Okay. Medio. And it's near the pyramid. It's near the pyramid, yes. Okay. Good. Very good. Okay, teacher. All right. Okay. I think it's time to go back. All right. Did you finish um, speaking about the process you follow in your office? Yeah. Did you finish speaking? Because part number seven says present your Vini poster to two other pairs. So are you ready to <laughs> present? I am. Okay, please. Okay, I'm going to talk about uh, Coralia and Samuel procedures in their uh, jobs. The first one is Coralia. Okay. She was a kindergarten. So the first thing that she do, she do. She with, does. She does when she arrives to the kindergarten is go to the uh, rooms, levels to check the children's because they have different levels, okay. different ages and all that. 
And then she verified that the kids doesn't have uh, any injuries and in, in general that they are okay. All right. Okay, next, uh, she supervised the food of the children for each level. She verified that the children information are in the control. They have a they have a control of all the development develop and healthy standards. Uh, so they she check all the, the all the information. And uh, we didn't know that she is a uh, psychology psychologist. Um, uh huh. Psychology. So she have the she have to do the assistant or the psychology assistant. Okay. So. Her job is very good. All right. Very cute job. And then Samuel Rosales have a, a she he works in a bakery. I don't remember the name. Shadai. Shadai. Shadai Bakery. Thank you. Well, he arrived to the to his work. He sanitized, sanitized. Sanitize. Sanitize. No. Sanitize. Sanitize. I make a, a, a draw. I make a draw, but I know that if all can start, see. I'm to yes, draw. we can see you. Okay, <laughs> step number yes. one. <laughs> so you're working on okay. a table. Yes. No, I'm I'm sanitizing my shoes. Oh really? my God. Step number one. <laughs> <laughs> the first step. Okay, thank you. Tony. And then he Just used the sanitizers and, uh, okay. wash and wash his hands. <laughs> and this is um, the step number two. I don't know if anybody can see it. <laughs> step number two. Yeah, you're showing yes. your hands. Yes, that's my hands. I only draw four fingers, but it's okay. No, you have I'm five. Not... Okay, okay. So okay. this is the step number two. Okay, do you use gloves, uh, Samuel? Yes, I usually use gloves. All right, good. Okay. Thank you for your, for your time. Okay, so Coralia <laughs> and Samuel, can you explain the procedures from Helen? Oh, with excitude. I can do it with excitude. Uh-huh. Okay. When Helen arrives to his place of work, he has to clean his shoes like me and his hands. But the most important step that she has to do is got a cake of when, is when the hotel saves all the money of the, of the day, of the okay. last day. It's so the only... She's the only one person that can have access to the, to the money. So oh. the second more important step that she has to make is mark his finger in that, I don't know how do you call that. Machine. In the machine. And then she has to turn on his computer <clears throat> and her computer, sorry. And uh, he makes a lot, a lot of reports. Of all the different areas. Oh, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's okay. Nice. Very Thanks, good. Carolina. Something like that. Something okay, like that. Okay, good. Nice. <laughs> that was very good. Nice. Okay. Thank you, Samuel and Coralia. <laughs> Thank you, Helen. You, Helen. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, may I have one more volunteer to explain the procedure you follow in your work? or your friend's work, volunteer, volunteer or victim? <laughs> what do you want? Victim. What do you, victim? <laughs> okay, so Maria, who was your, your partner? I'm sorry, Maria. <laughs> Or Rocio? Uh, my partner is Ronald. Ronald. Okay. And what did Ronald tell you? What did he explain? Uh, Ronald worked in a bank, but I don't remember which. 
Atlantic Bank. Atlantida Bank. Atlantida Bank. <laughs> and um, what is his position in Atlantida Bank? Uh, here, um, le legal, uh, advisor? I don't remember, sorry. <laughs> okay, Ronald, do you remember what Maria does in her office? Yeah, she works in in a hotel uh, in Comfort in, in San Miguel. And she told me about your activities. Uh, actually, uh, she has uh, several activities all days. For example, they take notes, uh, they, they get uh, she gets uh, calls, and she she and she has she has uh, uh, she has a box with money that she need to to care all the day. Okay. And she she practice uh, her English with with his with her guests. Good, good. All right, nice. So Maria is partner of Helen in Comfort Inn in San yes. Diego. Oh, we are okay. <laughs> and finally, she told me that we have a, a discount when when we arrive and at the hotel. Oh, nice. Good to That's know true. that. <laughs> <laughs> Why you never say that to us? <laughs> you know that now that Ronald mentions that. You know, like everybody here works in different companies, different services and everything. Uh, like Rocio, she sells in a, in, in a flower store, huh? Yeah. So yes. uh, got some others work in a bank, other people work in bakery, others are teachers, psychologists. So it's good that you guys know where everybody is working, you know? So if one day you need something, you you have your contacts already, you know. So if you have a, if you have legal problems, uh, don't worry, you can call me. All right, good. Thank so you. if you, if you ever Thank go you. to the if you are inside a police car, call Ronald. <laughs> yeah. Hey Ronald, please help me. After <laughs> a party. All right, mm -hmm. good. Okay, um, anybody else wants to say something before you guys are dismissed? You want to explain your your procedures in your office? Hey, teacher, the, we, were, we were talking about the work of the Magdalena. Okay. Uh, Magdalena was at the University of El Salvador. Okay. In the area of the electrical procedures. Okay. In a em, em, emergency, emergency, you feel emergency. You feel get to call, then check the problem. Uh, she gets to the problem, then check the emerg, emer, emer, emergency, emergency, emergency. She repairs to the fault to finish and confirm the repair. All right. Good. Yeah, teacher. Good. Nice. <laughs> nice. Very good. So I see 20 faces. That means that everybody's present. Congratulations. So um, anything else before you guys are dismissed? No? I really enjoyed the, the, the practice yeah, of today. Too. Very good, very good. Okay, so once again, thank you very much for making the space, making the time. I will see you tomorrow at eight o'clock. You guys have a good night. Bye, everyone. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye. Good night. 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 Good night.